Hello everybody. Here we are. It's Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. And today we're looking at Psalm 9 for our devotion. It reads in the heading to the chief musician upon Muthlaban. Muthlaban is another one of those mysterious words. Augustine translated it as the hidden things of the sun. The hidden things of the sun. We're entering sacred ground when we read this psalm. It calls us into the secret place where the spirit whispers hidden things, where he whispers wonders. Verse one says, I'm thanking you, God, from a full heart. I'm writing the book on all your wonders. Hmm, I can write the book on your wonders because I've come into the secret place. David paid the price to be able to discover the wonders of God and we become the beneficiaries of his sacrifice in laying himself before the Lord to the point where we can discover with him the secrets of God. Think of worship as an unfolding package or labyrinth. As you worship, one layer is unwrapped and then another. And the more you worship, the more of these layers are unwrapped and so on and so forth. And in the unfolding nature of worship, we will eventually enter a dimension of contemplation. And contemplation is different to meditation. In meditation, they ask you not to think, to just pick a word, uh, to go, um, they don't want you to think, they want you to empty your mind. Contemplation isn't like that. Contemplation comes from a full heart. I'm thanking you, God, from a full heart. Contemplation is the highest expression of our intellectual and emotional life as it is set free from the expressions of, uh, and constraints of our natural knowledge to embrace spiritual knowing. So we get free of the rational ways of approaching life, the scientific approach to life, and we come into a pure understanding of true knowledge. So in contemplation, the soul comes fully alive. You're fully awake, fully aware, and you enter spiritual wonder. It's spontaneous awe. It's a deep sense of gratitude. It's the vivid realization of the invisible, transcendent, and infinite abundance of God. Contemplation is above all acute awareness of God's presence. Your spirit, your spirit man, your inner being, knows its source with absolute certainty. Your spirit knows God with incredible knowledge, with incredible certainty. That's where you come to a place of spiritual vision that gives purpose and perspective to everything you arrive at a profound depth of faith. This is where I know. It's where I know that I know. It's where I know that I know that I know that I know that I know. I just know it. It's profound. And it can only be expressed with awe. Verse 10 of Psalm 9 says, those who know your name will trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. It's not enough for us to know about God. 
you must know God, to know him himself. This is why we worship. Worship takes us from the place where we know about God to where we know him. Without worship, all we have is information. We lack formation. It takes worship to form the level of relationship that will have us knowing his name. Jesus said that at the judgment, some people are going to say, I cast demons out in your name. I prophesied in your name. And Jesus is going to reply, depart from me. I never knew you. How about that? You can move in the power of God, but never, you never took the time to develop the relationship. God would rather you worship him than for you to preach to a million people. And if you really were to worship him, you'd know that that's the truth. One of the interesting things about this psalm is some of it is written in the first person and some of it is written in the third person. Some of it is written to God and some of it is written about God. Are you willing to pay the price to know God in the first person, to know him personally? Many people know about God in the third person. They know what others have told them about him. But God wants a first-hand relationship. This is going to cost you. It'll cost you your time and your focus and your space. God will get into your stuff. He will mix it with you. He will get in there, into your face. He'll take you to task because he wants you to get to know him. I'm telling you now, it'll be worth every moment. And God bless you. Have an awesome week. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow.